Mission our planet and our very lives, perhaps, depend on the development of a company called Ocean Optics. Michael Morris and Leeward Bean were men with a great idea, an idea that would revolutionize a billion-dollar business. We really and truly feel as though that um, we will do to the spectrometer market what the silicone chip did to the computer market. Usually, spectrophotometers are as big as a desk and cost twenty-five to one hundred thousand dollars. And we've developed a miniature one you can hold in the palm of your hand. It does the same thing. And so this is about a thousand times smaller and about ten times less costly than the existing instruments. We all know that by burning fossil fuels, we are destroying our ozone layer by releasing excess CO2. Nobody knows exactly when that CO2 buildup will become too great. The key to measuring the buildup is in the oceans. But until now, we could not measure what was happening. But the oceans can absorb a lot of that. The oceans act like a big sponge. And if we're lucky, the oceans are going to absorb all this extra CO2, and we won't have a greenhouse effect. If we're not lucky, then it, it won't be able to keep pace, and we will have a greenhouse effect. So the real burning issue in oceanography is how fast is this happening. The miniature spectrophotometer can be strapped to other instruments and dropped into oceans all over the world from planes. Radio signals from the devices can be sent to satellites that NASA will launch in 1993. And back to Earth-bound computers, we will then know the timetable for the greenhouse effect and be able to take appropriate actions to stop it. The miniature spectrometers have a lot of commercial applications, matching paint chips at your local paint store, for example. For the retail house paint, they, they just bring in a paint chip or a color sample or a curtain that they uh, have around the house, and they can actually put down a little fiber optic wand and uh, evaluate the color, and then on the computer it'll print out the formula that they need to match it. One other aspect to this story you need to know. The idea these men had might have fallen through the cracks without seed money. Seed money from the Enterprise Corporation of Tampa Bay, the company set up by the Committee of 100 to make things like this happen. Exactly. One of the core objectives of the Enterprise Corporation is to help in the creation of more Tampa Bay-based companies. Ocean Optics could be a monster company if they really can make reading color as simple as reading the temperature. And they can. It could be a billion dollar a year business and it looks like it might be located in the Bay Area. The men who invented that device just got back from Washington, D.C. Four companies are interested in financing it.